Friday night at Ralph Finkelstead Arena, a top five showdown. It was all North Dakota third ranked UND defeating fifth ranked Providence 6 1. With Scott Koberinski, I'm Dan Hammer, and this is a Midco SN post game wrap. Kober, dominant effort by North Dakota on Friday night. Well, it really was in, in all areas of the game. It started at goaltending, penalty kill was very strong, and I think that was one of the strongest points of the game. Power play with two for six, that was exceptional. And then their four check was just outstanding. So good all around effort for uh, North Dakota here tonight. And a very balanced effort for UND. 10 players had at least one point. Let's take a look at the highlights. A number of North Dakota players scored their first goals of the season, including Luke Johnson got North Dakota going here. And that's something Luke really needed to get his feet moving. He beat a defender uh, as we see him go wide here. And uh, just gets that puck on net far side. and. Uh, Good start for North Dakota there getting that early goal. North Dakota led at one nothing after one. Then North Dakota took command in the second period. Michael Parks will pick up his first goal of the season at 627. Well, good play all around by Kazuli. Everyone's getting in the front of the net, getting pucks there. And again, Parks is the, the benefactor having that wide open net. Paul Ledoux had a great freshman season, is off to a great sophomore season. He came in tonight leading all NCHC defensemen in points, and he makes it 3 0 here. Yeah, he sure does. He's just Johnny on the spot right uh, right at the top of the circle that puck bounces out and uh, he just hammers it home uh, to make it three now and a minute and 23 later Tucker Pullman the freshman defenseman makes a beautiful play starts at the wall moves in and snipes one past John Gilly and he's really got a heavy shot as we see here nice move here protects the puck and then watch how quick he gets that away and he not uh, <laughs> that puck just hit the back of the net and right out immediately North Dakota led it four nothing after two that chased John Gillies the Providence goaltender North Dakota wasn't done Troy Stetcher starts to play here with Brin Chizik will get the goal nice uh, nice play by Stetcher even better play by Simonson going to the puck or going to the net just to flex it on net and Chizik there to get the rebound so exactly what they talked about get pucks to the net and uh, good things will happen you mentioned North Dakota's penalty kill it killed all eight Providence power plays and got a shorthanded goal here from Drake Kajula and Kajula's got a Outstanding uh, shot as we see here. Seems like they're uh, they're not scared to take the offense when they're on a penalty kill, and good things happen again for North Dakota tonight. Again, North Dakota kills off all eight Providence power plays. North Dakota gets two of its own power plays. Drake Kajula tonight with a goal and three assists, a four-point night for Drake Kajula. North Dakota won the faceoffs tonight, 26 to 20, all around dominant effort. And Katie Hale caught up with North Dakota head coach Dave Haxtall. You talk a lot about business-like preparation. Your players were certainly ready to go from the drop of the puck tonight. Uh, just a very well-executed game. Well, I got, thought our guys battled hard in every area of the game, and that we executed pretty well when we needed to. Uh, now we turn the page and we go on to tomorrow. That's right. And uh, tomorrow, you know the Friars will be back. We saw some of their talent tonight. Could be a much different game, so your team will have to show up again like they did tonight. Well, this was a hard battle tonight. It doesn't matter what the scoreboard shows. Both teams played hard. It was a hard battle. You start at 0-0 tomorrow. We'll, we'll be ready to go as well. I'm sure they will. Uh, there's no question about it. Uh, Saturday night is always a big night, and uh, we want to come back, follow up tonight's performance with a good performance, and most importantly, a win. Thanks so much, Coach. Thank you. Well, like Coach said, Dan and Culver, back at it tomorrow night. Very good. Thank you very much. Katie Zane McIntyre gets the win. Overall team defensive effort on Friday evening, Culver. Yeah, I mean, it's, it all started with goaltending, as we know, but I was really, really impressed with, with the penalty kill tonight. They, they just... You, you, you feed off of that as, as a teammate on the bench by watching that. And again, great job by Dane Jackson, his penalty kill unit. They were smothering tonight and uh, look for that to continue tomorrow night. So the opening act of the showdown between the favorites from the National Collegiate Hockey Conference and the Hockey East goes to UND. The series finale will be Saturday night in Grand Forks. He's Cobert. I'm Dan. That's your Midco SN post game wrap.